if I was if I had to again take a position on it, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the brand name, which is Bitcoin. I'm going to assume that it's the wrong price for the possibilities that it has. Uh, and I'm going to assume that the path forward from here is north. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. Guys, Bitcoin is over $51,000. What a time to be alive. Very bullish. Also, guys, we got news that Coinbase is ready to go live with their IPO and they got an evaluation. I'm going to share that number with you. And MicroStrategy, yesterday we talked about them raising $600 million in debt. Well, they raised that number within the past 24 hours. It's crazy. We're going to talk about that and many other items. Before we do, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, take a look at this. Bitcoin, $51,244. Looking so bullish. Man, uh, certainly 60,000 is in play when you think about the psychological barrier that was broken with 50,000 and then pushing through 50 uh, because we kept getting rejected at that price point. So pushing through and then going to 51,000 and higher. So look at the green candles here looking good. This could be a rally similar to what we saw back in December where we worked our way up from uh, you know, the, the 20s to the 30s, right? The high 30s. So I could see that happening right now, playing out where we're going from uh, like the 47s or whatever it is to the 60, 65s, right? But as always, you know, this is not a certainty. We're just talking probabilities here. At any point, the market could just pull back, right? And, and, and that's not to say we're not gonna keep going up, but rather we can't predict some of these things because the market's very volatile. It's still young. But, you know, macro level, we are still on track. Bitcoin is very close to becoming a $1 trillion asset, guys. That's that's amazing, right? The entire market itself had crossed over $1.5 trillion, which was a new all-time high. And, you know, here, Plan B mapped it out saying straight line to $1 trillion market cap. Bitcoin is going for gold next, which is a $10 trillion market cap. So this is certainly within the realms of possibility when you think about Bitcoin maybe going to $100,000 plus this this market cycle. And in the future, you know, uh, I think the Winklevoss twin said the next halving, they could see $500,000 and higher and then eventually a million. So they're not talking about, okay, in the next six months is going to hit $500,000 or a million, but you got to look at it macro level. And uh, this is this is really cool, guys. Um and I'm so bullish, man. It's just exciting times uh, as far as what's happening. And take a look at this. The Wall Street Journal. On the front page of the Wall Street Journal, the headline reads, Bitcoin trades above $50,000 in a first. Cryptocurrency closes below high, up 68% for near, excuse me, for a year with $909 billion in total circulation. That is bullish, my friends. Uh, big time visibility as we've been talking about these things are the elements of marketing and that will drive mass FOMO into the market because the institutional investors have taken their position. We see corporates are adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. We even see cities like Miami. I interviewed the mayor of Miami just about a week ago talking about allocating some of these cities' treasury reserves into Bitcoin. So what do you think is going to happen, right? You got the supply and demand economics at play and something big that I think is just going to be monumental for the market. Coinbase is readying for a public listing, their IPO. They got a $77 billion valuation from NASDAQ private market. Guys, that's huge. So last week's uh, settlement price of $303 per share would make Coinbase bigger than the NYSE owner, the New York Stock Exchange owner, ICE, the Intercontinental Exchange. Holy cow. This is going to put crypto on the map like crazy. You're going to have complete merging of the traditional financial world in the crypto market and uh, visibility awareness branding all these things play into the adoption of cryptocurrencies so cryptocurrency exchange coinbase which is preparing to trade publicly in the next few months is being valued at 77 billion dollars based on trading of the company's private privately held shares on a secondary market 
those shares in the largest crypto exchange in the U.S. are changing hands on the Nasdaq private market at $303 a piece, according to two people with knowledge of the auction. That implies a total company valuation uh, or value of $77 billion, greater than the inter Intercontinental Exchange Incorporated, the owner of the New York Stock Exchange. Here's a quote. Uh, the third weekly transaction closed on Friday, and the clearing price was $303 a share, said the source. The first week, it was $200 a share. The second week, it was $301 a share. And the third week, it was $303 a share. So you can kind of see uh, the price discovery happening. Very bullish. And yes, when Coinbase goes public, I will be taking a position in Coinbase, guys. I will be investing in it. I know some of you and even myself have vented frustrations about Coinbase and their service in the past. But um, keep in mind the where we're at and the, the potential to make money here. Um, so I will be taking a position, probably not a crazy large amount, but you know, look, the market itself is so, uh, we're still so early and it's emerging. The, the value of Coinbase is going to go up right along with other exchanges and companies that go public because we're so early think about the early 90s with the dot-com boom and companies that got in and uh, the internet was still on a rise still growing so i will be holding coinbase stock for a long time because i know we're not <laughs> nowhere near you know the the peak of the entire ecosystem or market guys um we still have so many more layers to 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 head up or steps to climb here right so keep that in mind look at it from a macro level standpoint now, Michael Strategy, man, Michael Saylor, this man, <laughs> he's the biggest Bitcoin bull ever. ever. So yesterday we talked about, you know, they're going to sell, raise, uh, excuse me, um, raise $600 million off a debt sale. They boost that to $900 million. And of course, they're going to use the money to buy Bitcoin. So the firm has already bought 70,784 Bitcoin, an amount now worth around 3.6 billion dollars this is crazy <laughs> and when i say crazy i don't mean like in a bad way but it's just like this guy is so bullish man he just within a 24-hour period they they they, they just uh boosted it right just yesterday they mentioned 600 million uh, 600 million dollars so wow guys and this is just the start it's just the tip of the iceberg we're gonna see more companies do this now i just recently interviewed um matt hogan the chief investment officer at bitwise and you know there's some things he told me about in that interview the interview went live here um just a, a day ago and um they have launched a new crypto fund and it's a DeFi focus fund offering exposure for accredited investors so you're seeing the different products being built out here being the infrastructure being set up, and this is what's going to bring more money into the market. So uh, the nearly $1 billion firm's new fund, the Bitwise DeFi Crypto Fund, offers accredited investors exposure to tokens like Uni and Aave. So this is great. This is great. Um, you know, my conversation with him, he talked about the top 10 crypto fund that they have. It includes already some DeFi tokens like Aave and Chainlink. Um, so if you haven't seen that interview, definitely check it out. But this is all bullish news. And here's some more bullish news for you. Google Ventures backed crypto firm blockchain raises $120 million. So the money is coming in. And you may say, hey, Tony, what does this have to do with the price? Why are you sharing this with us? These, I want, you have to understand the building of the market and the infrastructure, which is going to lead to higher prices, right? These companies are setting up shop. They're expanding uh, globally. They're, they're acquiring other smaller companies to build up their repertoire, uh, rep, uh, their arsenal, I should say, uh, of, of uh, service offerings and technology because everybody wants to get a, a, as big of a slice of the pie as possible so they can make as much revenue as possible. They know what's coming. So Google Ventures backed crypto firm blockchain raises $120 million. Blockchain.com, the London-based crypto wallet and exchange operator, has raised $120 million from a group of macro investors. Keyword there, macro. They are looking long-term, high level. They're not looking monthly, weekly, and so forth. American hedge fund manager Louis Bacon's Moore Strategic Ventures, Heyman Capital Management founder Kyle Bass, Access Industries, Rovita Advisors, Lightspeed Venture Partners, GV, Lakestar, and Eldridge all participated in the round. 
the firm now has raised more than $190 million to date. So if cryptocurrency was a scam or a fad, according to some people, why are these uh, big time hedge funds and investment firms putting all these millions into crypto companies? Think about it, right? Um, this is why you don't follow conspiracy theories. You don't follow wishful thinking. You look at the facts of what's happening. Where's the money going, guys? This is why I built this channel to show you the facts. I'm not trying to sell you hopium or conspiracy theories or my opinions or my wishful thinking. I'm showing you, hey, these investment firms just put another 120 million or whatever it is into this company that is focused on crypto, right? MicroStrategy just raising a, a millions of dollars to buy more Bitcoin. Coinbase is ready to do an IPO and its values. These are the facts. So I hope I hope you understand what's happening here and you stay fact focused because there are a lot of YouTube channels and people on Twitter and so forth that will try to t give you wishful thinking and hopium and conspiracy theories and that that will lead you to get wrecked. Be smart, you know, do your research, study the markets, diversify. I been saying that from day one. That's why I hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP. So if any one of these coins doesn't perform well, I, I'm risk averse because I have these other ones that are performing well, right? My portfolio looks great. So for example, like the XRP situation, if I was only holding XRP, uh, I would be in a very bad position right now. I'm bullish on XRP, but obviously the situation with the SEC is unfortunate, but Bitcoin and Ethereum and Cardano are and, uh, on Chainlink and so forth are carrying my portfolio. I'm still in the position to make money. This is not about, um, you, you know, cultism or maximiz maximalism or feelings. This is about making money and I'm here to make money and that's why I've diversified and I've taken the position just like uh, positions just like the in institutional investors. So uh, we got some news here that a report urges US government to focus on blockchain crypto and a digital dollar. So we got some tink Think thanks, if, if I can say that right <laughs> today, and alliances that are popping up that are trying to, um, you know, influence the the politicians. And we've talked about it on this channel, the the crypto companies in the market, they need to lobby DC politicians. They need to be in their face. They need to, you know, have these think 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 tanks. Oh man, I can't say that today. And alliances to really go out there and talk to each congressman and congresswoman, all the regulators and get them to understand what's happening here. So the, the long story, or I should say the TLDR for this is that um, the, these these alliances and so forth are trying to go out there and talk to the Biden administration and regulators and so forth. And this is certainly bullish. You definitely want to see this, right? Uh, finally, Ontario securities regulator grants approval to second Bitcoin ETF in less than a week. I wish this was saying the United States securities regulator, right? These other countries are moving ahead of the United States. And, you know, as I mentioned, I interviewed, um, the uh, Bitwise CIO, Matt Hogan, and we talked about that. What's the path to getting an ETF approved in the United States? And, you know, the regulators are going to take their sweet time, but um, it's great to see things are moving along, at least in Canada and other parts of the world. And, and we need that Bitcoin ETF here, guys. We need that Bitcoin ETF because it will open the floodgates. So much more capital is going to flood into the markets. It's, it's going to be ridiculous. So uh, very excited. And, you know, Bitcoin continues to go up macro level. You got to pay attention to macro level charts. We are on track. Yes, I know the bull market's not going to last forever. So have a plan. Know what you're doing, because there's going to be a point where Bitcoin hits the top and then goes into a bear market, right? I'm not saying it's going to be a sudden sharp correction and bear market starts. It's going to be a slow, gradual thing. Um, so just be prepared know where we are in the market cycle. That's why I, I share the uh, macro level charts from plan B. And I think, uh, you know, once you pay attention to these larger charts, it, it will help you to understand where we're at. So guys, um, what do you think? Could we be heading to $60,000 within the next couple of weeks? I think so. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments below, hit the thumbs up button, share this video, and I'll talk to you all later. Yeah.